Hi YouTube, this is gonna be a quick um, little DVD session. I just wanted to do a little bit more DVD today because I skipped a day of streaming today. Um, we're gonna play for like an hour. It's gonna be really quick, but I know some people like our DVD playthroughs, so I hope that you enjoy some of this. Um, so first up is Damsel, Nini, Broom, and Pixie. Oh, you can't do killer as well. Okay, well maybe at the end I'll, I'll look into it. Um, joined. Pixel joined. Damsel joined. We need broom. And I think... Hi, Tropixel. Let me put my info in. I'm going to have to start being careful about this. Friends list, friends list is getting kind of big. 73 CF. And pin it. Okay, well, I'm playing Mr. Myers because I've been really liking Mr. Myers. Um, we're playing against Pixie, Nini, Damsel, and Broom. Now, I can't remember how good of a survivor Broom is, but I do know these other girls. Let's get started. <laughs> Let's get started. No shade room. I just, I, I don't, I can't remember. Let's get into it, divas. Let's survive in the daylight. Let's play some music. Let's destroy them. Shout out to my boyfriend once again for giving me one of the best Christmas gifts he's ever given me, my stream deck, because it makes audio stuff so much easier to manage. I try to tell him all the time how much of an effect he has had on my career, and I hope that one day I can go super viral in a very safe and um, mentally um, healthy way, because you know, with virality comes um, scary stuff. What I'm saying is I hope that one day I get some really lucky chance to monetize the same way that PewDiePie did. How lucky that man was. And um, I can buy him 10 stream decks. Okay, we're in the swamp. <gasps> Wait, this is Pixie's favorite place. Because she plays hag. Okay. Wait, no, no, no. I'm supposed to be scary because I'm Myers. Wait, I love those pigtails. Where did you get those bundles? Was it at the local beauty supply? No, wait, I have a question. Where did you get those bundles? Oh, I forgot again to change my screen. Dang it. I feel like it's very, um, very useful for people who watch the DVD stuff to be able to see my stalking meter, but I'll just let y'all know. I'm at level two now. <laughs> I'm at level two. Okay. So that's, that's gotta be Pixie. That's got to be Pixie. If it happens in the first 20 seconds, it's, I, red dress, no. Red dress. No. That was Pixie and me. Well. Where did you get those bundles? Y'all, a new um, beauty store has like been franchising near me and I went to that store to get my bleach and stuff and I was like, it was like heaven. It was, um, it was so clean and nice and there were so many products. I just went window shopping just for the fun of it, you know? 
but I kept myself focused on the bleach. Now, that's not being messed with. That's not being messed with. This peroxide is really affecting my gameplay. I'm still at level two, halfway through level two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Get out. What volume number did you use for the developer? It turned out so good. 30. 30. You're supposed to use 20, but I have, like, level... Like, my hair is the darkest it can be. Um, so, you know. I used 30 developer. I used a Clairol um, bleach. Um, it said that it, 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 it purported that it would lift you 9 levels. I assumed that that would be 7. You know, subtract 2 for how dark my hair is. And I bleached the ends first for 20 minutes. After that 20 minutes, I applied bleach to the rest of my hair, meaning like the the um, the roots and stuff, um, for another 40. So it was like a 60 total, starting with the 20 on the bleach on the on the ends. Um, then I rinsed that out and I did another bleach for 20 minutes, and then I toned it for 30 minutes with like a more beige blonde toner. And I will be honest, I'm an amateur, and depending on the camera, you can see, I, I'm not saying that it's like a fully platinum blonde, you know, but it shows up well on camera, and, and it looks okay in person. Don't, just don't get too close, you know? <laughs> don't get too close. You might see some spots. And if you got a tender scalp, do not try that method, because girl, because girl, I was getting there. My skin was starting to look a little pink on the scalp. <laughs> you know how bleaching is. It's more about like just being crazy um, than it is about looking like a diva. Don't tease me. Don't do it. I am getting I am getting dragged. Almost at level three. Oh, well, I mean, that's kind of how it is sometimes, though, Tropixel. Like, I, I keep making the joke, you know, people only bleach their hair when something's going on, you know? I mean, I'm not, like, going through it or anything. It's just, like, I, I've been wanting to do something kind of drastic with my hair for a minute. Um, and it was, it's really fun. But, yeah, I get that. Yeah, it's not, it's not that crispy. <laughs> it's a little crispy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let me get level three because this is ridiculous. This is very ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ollie. Ollie, I've been playing DVD, Ollie. I've been into it. I'm like like two weeks in. Come here, Miss Resident Evil. Come here, Miss Residential Evil. Oh, I see an Ada Wog in the distance. Red dress? No. Red dress? No. Red dress? No.
Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Who are you maining? I low-key really like the knight, but Pixie, who's been dragging me every game, um, actually put me onto um, this, like, Myers build that, like, once you get level 3, you kind of, like, have the endless, like, sort of kill moment. So that's been really fun, too. So right now, I'm really liking Myers and the knight. Um, survivors are okay. I play Vittorio because he's the cutest. <laughs> but I kind of prefer the killers. I didn't mean to single out Pixie. Pixie singled out me because Pixie was singling out all of the um, generators. Now, where's Broom? Because don't think that I th don't think that Broom is innocent because Broom was low key getting those generators too. Where y'all at? Hello? <laughs> you guys better run. You see what's happening to Miss Ada Wong? If you don't escape right now, you might be next. Oh. See, it feels bad to do it when they're right at the end. I'm sorry, Pixie. Pixie, I'm sorry. It's that red dress. I'm like, I'm like a, I'm like a, um, I'm like a mosquito to light. <laughs> it was that red dress. Y'all know how I get when I start playing. <laughs> Moth to a flame, yeah. Okay, so next up is JB's Liz, Dash, and Damsel. A mosquito to light. Y'all, I have been streaming for three hours and I have peroxide in my scalp. It's a done deal. The queue is um, quite short. We have seven people, so people are already rotating in second times around. We got dash and dash. I want to dash. I want to run it. Um, now, do I have Liz added? Who's that? Uh oh. Hold up. Oh, Liz just just sent me a request. Let me um. Let me add. Let me add. Let me add. Oh, JB, I, I'm sorry. I can't read. Okay, let's invite... Liz. Hey! This is the Dead by Daylight song. Mosquitoes are actually not attracted to light, but the darkness behind the light itself. Oh my god. What? Hi everybody, welcome to my bang tutorial. So, as you can see, I need a little bit of a touch up. So what I'm going to be doing is actually bleaching the ends until they're like crispy like a tortilla chip. Then I'll be slathering on some of the survivors behind me. I'll be actually using their blood to dye the ends a deep, deep red. Hopefully it'll bring back some vibrancy to the color of the hair. Um, and don't worry about the integrity of the hair. I actually use, um, I have a deal with the entity. Uh, the more... The more uh, survivors that I hook, actually, the more proteins that will be in my hair the next morning. So let's get started. Remember, if you like these kinds of videos, to leave a comment and let me know. And also, please consider subscribing if you like um, hair dyeing tutorials.
the red bunny look. Did you see the knight's Halloween weapon? They have a Halloween weapon? Wait, there's Halloween stuff? <gasps> oh my god, how do I get that? How do I get that? Playing the event? The knight has a 40 inch bust down down there? Yes. He, he, the knight's actually deep conditioning it. In the in the thing. You buy it with the trinkets, I think, from the rooms. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this game is so cool. It's like it honestly like kind of surprises me. It like took me by surprise because like when I saw it, I was like, this is kind of like hide and seek simulator, right? With like a little bit of extra things. But it's like, I don't know. The more you play it, it's fun. There's like drama to it. A bunch of gay people play it. Like, it's just fun. I have to start I have to start being more inclusive. It's 2024. A bunch of queer people play it. I feel like that's the word that I mean. Um, Yuto, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for subscribing with Prime. I'm so glad that you're liking the content. I really appreciate you coming by. Welcome to the chat. Um, good morning, Comet. All right, everybody. So like I said, when you make a contract with the ent entity, they actually help the integrity of your hair when you bleach and tone it often like I do. Um, so this is actually, I'm going to show you guys how I sort of keep the proteins in my hair safe. Um, and also how I get this lovely red on the ends of my 40 inch bust down in the helmets that I am using. This helmet is actually by Mio. Um, it's really good. It actually has acoustics within it. Um, this is something very interesting about meal products. One second. I think I just found something that I can use right. So the interesting about meal products is they do things that a lot of people don't expect. Most helmets actually hinder your hearing, but this helmet has a special acoustic design that will enhance your hearing. Um, This is a tricky little cucumber. Okay, we gotta we gotta stop focusing on them. Ube, thank you for five months. Happy spooky season. already got one? Y'all are good at this game. Is that, um, what's his name? Um, he was in, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> This is an awful map for the night. <laughs> it's crazy how queer used to be a slur turret. And now it's, yeah, it's like, that's actually a really good point, CMB. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're locking it down. We are locking this down. We're locking this down. This is getting out of hand. And this is why I don't like Stranger Things. This is why I've always said Stranger Things is the flop. Like, how many seasons do you need? Okay, I gotta get my bearings here. Hi. Hi, how are ya? They should add Jeffree Star as one of the killers. Hi, how are ya? <laughs> um. 
I can bring gen regression perks. Oh, I probably could, huh? That means that they would have to give licensing fees to Jeffrey, though, and I don't know if we should really be <laughs> asking Jeffrey Star to monetize on even more things. But it would be funny. Someone should mod that in. Hi, how are ya? I'm really flopping today. Hi! There's this one video that's always like uh, making its rounds on TikTok. It's like a compilation of Jeffree Star reviewing products. And it's so funny to me. This place is kind of hard if you don't know the map. Like. I think I could live with Jeffree Star fading into obscurity, but he is so funny for no reason. Yeah, it's the thing. Is we just need we need a new Jeffree Star. We need somebody. Um, we need somebody to just review products really, really sassy. Okay, so what's left? I don't like this spread here. That's you, girl. <laughs> well, have have brands send me stuff. That's what I need. I need brands to send me stuff. Then I can start raking them through the coals. But I am too frugal to spend my money. And Jeffree Star is not a frugal person. <laughs> the toothbrush review. That toothbrush review. Oh, my God. It's really funny how, how things are. How things turn out, you know? Y'all are really playing me like a fiddle. I'm like trying so hard to be like, yes. But I'm also so focused on locking this down. <laughs> mm hmm I knew it. I knew it. My spidey senses were tingling. Get there, man. Hi. I say hi because I think people actually scare me. Like when I jump scare them, I'm actually jump scared myself. And when I say hi, I'm like, oh, it's like a joke now. The backflip is really funny. Ruin is also really good. All generators start regressing if the survivor is actively repairing it. Oh. Ruin, you say? Now let's see if my jailer can handle this girl. No, of course not. I saw you, damsel. I saw you. I saw you, damsel. That aesthetic bunny ear outfit is going to work against you today. <gasps> it's the fashion silhouette for me. Yeah. 
Y'all have got me running around like this. I'm so stressed. Kidding me? This is a nightmare. Girl, I feel like I'm playing Diner Dash over here. I gotta find something I can do. There's gotta be some sort of trick I can pull here. Okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. <laughs> do y'all see me walking up and down this map? It's like the first day of college to tell you to go to a place across campus. And there was three people on this generator. Uh, uh, where did Leon Kennedy go? Oh no, I'm gonna lose them all. I'm gonna lose them all. I'm gonna lose them all. Hi, Ghostly Pris. Welcome to the chat. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like I said, I felt like, I said I was, I feel like I'm playing Diner Dash, and that's how it is. Like, I'm, like, just desperately trying to hit each table. Would you like, a, would you like some water? Ow. See, even y'all are getting lost. We're all confused here. See, I'm... Okay, where am I? Oh my God. These crows aren't even helping me at this point. Hey, damsel. I didn't even try to find you, girl. I really didn't even try to find you. This is Dilly Dally in the daylight. Okay, so that one's not being messed with. I think I know where everyone's at. Are you gonna do it? Hi, Countess. Hi, Cello. 
Thank you so much, Tello. Thank you for stopping by and saying hi. It's always so sweet that people stop by and say hi. Okay. It's fun though, like, even though, like, this gameplay style is, like, a little bit stressful, I just, I really like Night because it's just so satisfying to, like, like, Endgame Night is just a certain level of satisfaction that I really like. I guess it's just Camping Simulator, but whatever. I like it. I think it, like, scratches the Maple Story brain that I have. Like, you try to find that effective, efficient route and you just stick to it. It's really fun. Damsel's being very sneaky. Too fun is coming for you. <laughs> Three, four. Um, I don't know why you're wearing that in a witty way. Like, the crows just don't help in indoor maps, like, at all. It's like they're over here behind three walls, maybe. <laughs> beware of being caught. Three, four, beware of being caught. <laughs> The thing is, is like, y'all are so spread around that I can't chase y'all because I gotta make sure that these generators are not being messed with. Hi, Thailand. Why did I see this on his back, R RPD, and I was like, RuPaul's Drag Race? Oh. 
There we go. Nice, nice. For this Maxi Challenge, you will bring me four sacrifices. <laughs> Hashtag drag race. It's fine, this map isn't too bad, and it's good practice too. Y'all know I'm a noob, so any walls are gonna be a challenge for me. It doesn't matter where we go. It's always really satisfying when you get the one two with the um, with the patrollers. That scared me. <laughs> Fawn grabbed her to bleach her hair. <laughs> Don't let me get you. I'll raise you to a level a level um, ten. I hope you don't have a sensitive scalp. Who wants to be blonde? this 40 developer. <laughs> I will say, I wanted to mention this um, because obviously me being blonde was going to be quite novel today. Shout out to the scene girls. Shout out to the scene girls because I was doing my hair and I was like, you know what? The first ones in like our sort of like culture, I mean, bleaching your hair has always been a thing, but like the sort of like word of mouth guides that you would find on the internet, the first ones were the scene girls on YouTube showing you how to bleach your hair. And we've really evolved since then. The next ones were like the Tumblr girls. And then we have the TikTok girls, but it all started with the scene girls. Hi, Jem. Thank you, Jem. Shout out to the scene girls. The killer has a perk that disabled all the healing effects of Olaplex. <laughs> Y'all are sick. <laughs> no, I saw somebody on TikTok, cause you know I was like looking up guides on how to bleach your hair. And like I saw somebody had ruined their hair or something. And some girl like left a comment and said, she needs Olaplex immediately. I was like, that's so shady. <laughs> It's exclamation point Q to check the queue. We have seven people in queue, so if you are not playing right now, you will be playing next game. Let me focus. Oh, I know. I know where y'all are at. Jailer, lock down the area. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay, I see you. I know who's next. I know who's next. Now RuPaul's Drag Race is canceled. Bye Dash, thank you so much for hanging out. I'm glad we could play. Thank you as well, JBs.
the night is lost in the Mew Laboratory. I know they keep talking about like some sort of Olaplex by Mio, and I'm like, I don't need that. Hi, Con. Is this where they make the busted blue bobs? No, this is a meal laboratory. They would never. I just made baked ribs. They turned out so good. Ooh, Christian. That's so I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. I hear someone moaning and groaning. Oh, there was one more person left. I didn't even know it. Y'all see, y'all see, it's the, it's like my, I'm like a dog. Like I, <laughs> you know, I'm like a, a bloodhound or something. I don't even, I don't even notice like how many people are left. <laughs> Girl, I'm geeked. Why did you and the guards give Scooby-Doo? Because I ran <laughs> in a locker watching y'all through the holes. <laughs> you got a shiny Meloetta? Congrats, Lumen. Okay. So. Rotate. Next is, let's do, I'm going to close the queue now. Let's do two more games. Two more games, and then we'll be done. So Pixie, Chroma, Ghostly, JVst. I love, I love when the girls are like, here. <laughs> um, yeah, you can play Killer next. Are you... Yeah, when you're in, you can play. Anybody in this batch want to play killer? First come, first serve. Um, let me check my friends list, too, just to see if anybody's added me. Pixie is killer. Okay, Ghostly just sent a request. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Can I? Um, is JB is JB sent? Let's, let's, um... Should I do killer? Let's let JB's do it, because we haven't seen JB's killer. I would normally say Pixie, because Pixie will give a show, but we haven't seen JB's killer. You're seeing Espa in February? That's going to be so fun. People are going to scream when that happens. Are you excited? <laughs> it is quite fun, Countess. Supernova was nominated for best choreo. It was really, really catchy. My favorite is like the slow-mo. Uh-oh, somebody just donated something from the throne. Ooh, little earmuffs. Thank you, um, thank you Ghostly for the earmuffs. Thank you, thank you. These earmuffs are coming soon, thank you. Thank you, Orlock. I hope work was good. Had you on your toes. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Liz. Do we have everybody in here? We have Chroma Ghostly Pixie, J Beast. Oh, I'm sorry, J Beast. It's like, what's going on? Oh, wait. It says in lobby. Pixie has left. Let's restart it. I'm going to, um, to restart it. I think it sometimes it bugs out. Oh, it still won't let me invite you, JB. Um, oh, there you are, JB. Okay. We'll get there eventually. 
<laughs> and then let me invite Ghostly. How did you like Little Goody Two Shoes? I fell asleep while watching. It was really good. I'm gonna post the VOD after the stream. We're doing two more games, so it's gonna be up very soon, but I'm really liking it. It's really creative, really fun, very girly pop. We've gotten two anime songs already. So it's like, <laughs> why am I killer? Um, switch to, switch to Survivor, and then JB will switch to killer. I know, I can't switch to Survivor, because I'm killer. There we go, there we go. I don't know how it works, but we'll get there eventually. Do you get deja vu when you play Death by Daylight? Um, hitting a great skill check reveals the killer's aura. Um, somebody added me to the queue is closed now, but I will still accept people's requests. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> I love that costume. Whoever's got the, the blue ears on the hat. I think that's cool. I know the queue is closed, but can I get a game before the stream ends, please? I could come earlier. Um, sure. I'll just, yeah. Can I add you to the stream? I mean, to the queue? Yeah, we'll do, we'll just do one more game. I'll invite you and then we'll do um, a first come first serve scenario. Bye, Con. Thank you for hanging out. Enjoy your breakfast. Someone's playing Onryo. I've actually never played against an Onryo. So not this, not the next game, but the game after Orlock. I'll invite you and we'll just do a first come first serve moment. Okay, y'all know how I get with Survivor. I don't play it much, so I get very focused. The game looks really pretty today. If there's one thing I know about Onryo is that she can't do anything at the beginning of the match, so. doing oh the onryo is really spooky i've never played against one to do with this tape girl I guess I can hold on to it till I get like three condemned seven days my butt Eight days. Oh, 
coma. I blew it up. She's gonna come. By the way, shout out to Chroma. I see TCV in your name, girly. I just put the names, I just put it together. Like, in my, y'all know I'm really, really simple in the head. And this peroxide is not making it any better. Y'all, I just remember that my boyfriend brought home a nine inch pie when he went to the grocery store today. Oh my God. Get into that tea. Uh oh. What kind of pie? I think it's, I think it's the, um, I think it's a pumpkin pie. <laughs> See the pumpkin or sweet potato. Those are the only ones we do during this time of year. But you know how grocery store pies are. It's just sugar with a little bit of cinnamon in it. <laughs> greedy, greedy, greedy me. It is Sarako. <laughs> She's just a little bit lower fidelity today. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, she's creepy. She's very scary. Okay. Sadako jump scares you. <laughs> we only have, we still have five generators left for anybody in chat. I know I'm blocking it. I swear I'm gonna remember to change this one day. tape from the blockbuster okay another one thank you she's so funny like she's kind of funny how she like walks around Another tape from the blockbuster. That one's um, what's that one called? Um, over the hedge. Girl, I'm trying to heal you. Mhm. Mm I'm getting those skill checks. Y'all see? Y'all see me? Y'all see me? Y'all see me.
Wait. Wait, something's starting to twist my mind. Why is it getting staticky? <gasps> oh my god. I gotta go turn in my tape at the Blockbuster. POV, you forgot to turn in your tape at the Blockbuster. I don't fully understand the store potential energy thing. I feel like I'm doing it wrong. Scared, Chrome. <laughs> what is Blockbuster? All oh, to be young, huh? Oh, I was like, what's what's up? Oh wait, we also have international girlies. Blockbuster is a, a a movie rental service. It used to be a store you could walk in. Um, you could also get games from it too. Those of us with uh, single parents, um, our dads would often take us, and some some of our moms too, take us to the blockbuster, the movie gallery, um, or any of the other of the ilk, and um, get us a video game and pizza for the weekend. That's like a, it's like a canon experience for a child of Gen X. <sighs> Many of your favorite horror games featured in Dead by Daylight had their stay in a blockbuster. Shout out to Blockbuster. Let me go. Let me go. Sadako, I know that you are cursed, but if you just let me go, I can help you. Like what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, if Sadako finds me, it's over. I should maybe sabotage that hook, huh? I gotta do it. I gotta sabotage that hook. Can I? I can't. Oh no, I'm stupid. Bye, Orchid. Thank you for hanging out. Chrome 
almost done. No. No, 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 no. No, no. Sadako, I know you're cursed. I saw it on the tape. I was looking in the library and I found that you were cursed. If you just let me help you. I'm about to have survivor's guilt about that. That is crazy. Pixie, you have to hurry. Oh, the drama's ensuing. The drama's ensuing, y'all. I don't think I have, I don't think I have enough time. She told me seven days, it's been six and a half. JB, you do not play. This is insane. I'm like really feeling the pressure today. scary this is really crazy what is ruin I don't know what ruin is I will survive. I will survive. <sighs> no, because she pops out of nowhere. No, this is it for me. This is. <gasps> no, what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> This is it. Oh, it's the gener the gen regression. Okay, I got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't give up.
plan B. She got Ada. She got Ada. No, 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 no. She got Pixie. She got Pixie. How do y'all find the hatches? I never can find them. Found it. Found it. Found it. Found it. That that did not make a sound. That was the most silent hatch I've ever heard in my life, honey. <laughs> Ooh, GG, JV. That was a good one. That was a good one. Okay, I did not forget about you, Orlock. But next up, I'm just going to do next since we um, are going to end. Next is Liz, Damsel, Nini, and Broom. How many people are scared? Me too. I was really, really scared. So for Orlock's game, we're just going to do first come, first serve. Um, but we're going to do this one and then Orlock's game. Nene. giving me the the thing again in a match oh okay okay if broom is in a match then orlock you can play with us on this one how about that how about that um boom who wants to be killer we'll still do one more though after this just because i know we got i keep flip-flopping i guess i'll be killer <laughs> Oh, damsel, you be killer. You be killer, damsel. I don't, have you ever played killer? I just left the match. Oh, okay. Um, We can still invite you. We'll just go back to what we had before. Let me just leave. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Room. I want to invite Damsel so Damsel can switch to Killer. Then we're going to do Nini and Liz. Okay, back to plan A. Korean cheerleader. Oh, yes, you did do Korean cheerleader unknown. JB, you did really good. You gave the drama, and I appreciate that. Vittorio's good practice for um, getting great skill checks because, like, you do better with great skill checks, you know? And, um... I guess what I'm saying is like his perks encourage you to practice that. I can play someone else though. Would you rather face artist or trickster? Play whoever you want, damsel. You know me. I just care about the theater of it. So just so everybody's on the same page, after this game, I'm gonna invite Orlock specifically. 
and then we'll just let people join whenever they want, however they want. I think Orlok's been trying to catch a game with me. I always forget, like, towards the end to, like, play music. You've been ravenous today? Have you been snacking a lot? I'm like that sometimes. Is that Bayonetta? That's Bayonetta! Potential energy makes it so that you get charges instead of repairing, and then you can use the charges to get progress in that generator. Oh! Okay. What's up with the skill checks? You can run while repelling with no speed penalty. That's good to know. Okay, focus, focus, focus. Oh my god. Oh my god. The chase music is, music is really camp. Whoa. I know Fawn loves to play with someone that has corrective action. The reason the artist makes no clicking noises is because her tongue was cut out. Oh. Wait, remind me what um, corrective action is. Yeah, I need that. Oh my god. <laughs> no, Damsel, do you see them in the distance running for their lives? Look at the terror that Damsel is like 
and silly. Sorry, Nini. I'm really, I'm really just losing it right now. We have three more generators left for anybody wondering. Artist is pretty scary. She's really camp though. I like her. I never really got a chance to like look at her. I've played against her before, but now that I know the game a bit more, I really kind of like her presence on the field. I don't know where any pallets are, man. <laughs> Help. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, I see a pallet now. Oh my god. <laughs> I am like a like I'm like a baby chicken with the with the artist. I feel like the flashlight saves are so drama. It is, it is. They're not easy to pull off because like the other player can just look away, but like when it does happen, it's so like I don't know. It it does have the drama for sure. I hope Damsel did not see me do that. <laughs> Like everywhere I can't like my heart is just going off the way the flashlights are so effective is hilarious it is I'm, oh my god okay hi I love your Bob oh my goodness the weapon is really pretty too So Liz has zero, I have two, Nini has one, and Broom has one. We have two more generators left as well. I 
I, I look at chat for one second. We might get this. Spooky boots, spooky boots. How oh, Leon Kennedy? How was RuPaul's Drag Race? Huh? Oh, you're done healing. I was like, why did y'all leave me? Who is that, Broom? I can say Broom. Make it. We're gonna make it. Broom, we're gonna make it. Broom, you just have to hang in there. We're gonna make it. When we get out of this, we have to go immediately to a hospital. The heart mechanic shows you how close the, um, the killer is. So if it's beating really loud and it's like huge and like thumping, that means that they're like right close to you, right near you. We have to save Liz. No, I can't go without Liz. We, we went to high school together. I just want to say that today's a full moon and October has a super moon. It's going to be larger than normal. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let me invite Orlock. Nini, I want to break your flashlight. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I think we have one more spot. Where's okay? Orlock's gonna be killer. We have one more spot. If anybody wants to join, just just click the join if you want to join. Oh, Orlock's joined. Ghostly Prince joined. Liz joined. Pixie's killer. Ghost's killer. Who's the killer? Okay, Pixie survivor. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Y'all know how it is. It's a pixie killer game. We haven't got one in yet, so let's do it. Yeah. I love a pixie killer game. This is where I really cut my teeth as a survivor. Like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to play against pixie as killer. This is where we this is where we become this is where the girly pops are um, separated from the from the non-girly pops. We got really close last time. 
like, we did really good last time. Liz left. <laughs> oh, wait. Liz was spectator. Okay, I see. That's funny. Bye, uh, Broom. Good night. Thank you so much for um, hanging out. Does, um, does Vittorio get any, like, cool customizations? I guess you have to look in the Rift menu, huh? Oh, you can't access it. Can you access it from here? No. Hmm. Forgot, this is a new event. We get special items when pouring blood points. The flashlights have orange light and they have ghost silhouette. Med packs and toolboxes also have a fun item. Even the add-ons have effects like flickering lights and such. Oh! Oh. Like in game? Like, or is it only in the event that it looks like that? Or do you like unlock it like as a cosmetic? He's newer, so he has less, but he can make some really cool looking outfits with him. You can make some really cool outfits with him. Oh, Vittorio? Okay, I got you. Pixie's playing someone they haven't messed around with much. The actual game. Okay. That's cool. Is it like permanent or only for the event? I want that. From the blood point menu? Oh. But like they're items, so they're like, they're redeemable, so you don't get to keep them forever. Okay, I see. Oh, I didn't ready. Sorry. Hey. Oh, I love that skin. That's really cute. I love that skin. The pink. They should give him one where his um, glowy things are pink. His glowing tattoos. You always keep one from each event. You sound like me in 14. I always keep, they have like, um, like confettis that you can like throw out in the air and I always like hoard them. Cause I'm like, they're never gonna come back even though they come back every year. <laughs> Switch too soon. What's that? Spawning a hash in the main building. The map has a main building. Oh, that's that's nifty. Skull merchant. I don't think I've played against a skull merchant. Oh, and it's Pixie, too. Okay. Confetti hoarding is a serious business in the real universe. It is. It is. I'm glad I'm glad that I'm in I'm, I'm glad that I'm in a in good company. The skull merchant wants my skull to sell on the mar on the market, but I won't let her have it. She told me she would diamond encrust it with neo diamonds. Ethically sourced Mio diamonds. They're actually synthetic. I actually don't know the Skull Merchant story and I really want to. Cause she's such an outlier in her design. I'm like, there's something there. <laughs> A drone. 
one is out. Oh, look at this drama here. I like that. Uh oh, let me leave. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, I just got detected. These are my summer diamonds, summer diamonds, summer. I don't know that song, Pickled. Is that a song? Is it line of sight? Oh my gosh, you can't even get that. Can you like, since I'm detected, Oh, that's kind of camp. I like that. 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 That's pretty camp. I like that. Girl, <laughs> I didn't even know that I was like injured until I saw the blood. It's a drag race reference. Oh, okay. Well, you know me, I'm on season two. <sighs> this is what I get for only seeing two seasons of Drag Race. Synthetic and Labyrinth Diamonds are the new rages in the girly pop universe. All the girls are getting diamonds and no one has to mind them. The girls couldn't have asked for more. Exactly! Doesn't it sound so much better? <laughs> I can actually sabotage this here. I didn't even see like she looks like she, I mean Skull Merchant's um, hitbox is obviously bigger but she looks like a survivor Let's hide down here. Using crouch is actually a really effective way of communicating, isn't it? It kind of means like a little bit of everything. Pixie's taking it. Nice. Hack complete. I wonder if she gets a notification. Yeah, she gets a notification that that thing's hacked. Oh, Pixie's coming for me. <laughs> the award for killers looking like survivors goes to the pig. That's actually true. Oh my gosh. Dude, Skull Merchant's like really like sinister. Wow. One 
thing about me is I'm going to wiggle. Yes, damsel, you left and came back. And girl, look. <laughs> Welcome to a Pixie game. <laughs> Fun, did you see my name's debut? My most favorite idol re-debut for the third time. And they have a cute cat concept. And it low-key saved my year. Did you see Say My Name's debut? I didn't. No, I didn't. That's cool. I'm happy for you. I've never, I don't think I've heard of them. Are they K-pop? Or is it uh, Vocaloid? If they're K-pop and we have two people in chat sounding off, then I'm ashamed to not know them. K-pop? Oh. I know that G-Friend is apparently coming back. I heard about that. Cute cat concept? I like the sound of that. You have to give the... You have to give the Wave Way MV a watch. We'll watch it after um, after this match. After I stop recording so I don't get a copyright strike. Where's Orlock? The way that she can control different areas is really interesting. It seems like the drones last forever. I didn't get into the group, but I did like some of the songs. Like y'all know me, I just I just mainly like a, a fun, good concept and a good performance. I feel like the AKB like production and like business is in close cahoots with K-pop now. It seems as though they trade, they trade performers a lot. I think because of like the sort of mutual benefit that like they both kind of have like name recognition. Dude, even Pixie playing something something a little bit off brand is still like wow we y'all see how how pixie's just like just like waiting for you to make a move like the business side of k-pop is a whole other lore drop omg i find it fascinating it's a conspiracy theory that I actually find interesting. Um, sometimes I think about just starting a new channel for my, uh, my all my other hyper focuses because like I don't even get into like stand culture with K-pop. I just find the whole thing really crazy. Like, isn't it wild that there's an entire part of the music industry globally that just produces like high production pop music, like fully high production pop music? And like that's the name of the business that's the name of the game it's not like like in western music it's like a little bit more segmented and it's like a choice to do like high production pop in k-pop the name of the game is like choreo promotion music video like it one thing about pixie is gonna haunt you regardless <laughs> We're focusing on Orlock because we haven't gotten to play with Orlock. So for an update, one more generator needs to be done. So this might be a winning pixie game. Orlock has two, Nini has one, Ghostly has two. Hey, that sounds fun, Pookie.
When you do DVD again, can I play Killer? Never played Killer on stream before. Sure. I'm pretty. I'm. I'm pretty. We probably aren't gonna play again this week. Next week though, we will. Tomorrow and Saturday evening, we will be playing um, Poyo first games. I still have to get through the Genshin story. Oof. I think most popular idols don't make any money until years after their debut. Yeah, the idols don't make money. Um, popular ones are like kind of like the 1% of it. Um, but that's kind of the case with a lot of the Korean economy. It's like, you don't make a lot of money. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't, I can't speak too much on that because I don't live in Korea, but Parasite was made for a reason. Let's just say that. <laughs> Dang. I'm sorry, Orlock, that the game that you played was a, a pixie game, but I love the drama, so I'm also not sorry. Like, just watching. Watching a pixie game is really fun for me. <laughs> Do you see that? I would love for survival shows to make it to the US and feel a little bit more spontaneous because the survival shows in Korea don't feel as spontaneous. But I would love for one to come to the US and I would love for them to let um, old people audition because every singing show doesn't let anyone over like 27 audition. I've looked, I've looked into it. And I was like, I would eat up like the voice or the X Factor. I'm not an amazing singer, but I could give like character and aesthetic. Cause you know, like what was her name? Melanie Martinez was on The Voice or something like that. She didn't win. She's not like a belter. But I was like, I could do that. But I'm too old now. I think I would eat it up. Over 21 nowadays? Girl. I would eat it up. They don't want me there because um, they don't want like full grown adults in because we would be, we would say no. We would know when to say no. <laughs> the production would be like, so. Um, we forgot to give you food and water, and we need you to sit in front of the camera and cry. And I would say, no. And I'll say, you're fired. Yeah, you can do anything at any age. I might get tired faster than some of the, um, some of the other contestants, but... Not the... Eight. You're right, damsel. Eight. Eight. That was finesse right there. That was finesse. And that's why I say I love watching a pixie game. GG, everybody. Okay. Let's say bye to the YouTube, everyone. Slightly longer than I said, YouTube, but I'm sure y'all don't mind. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. Both of these VODs will be up. I really recommend getting into the Goody Two Shoes playthrough. It's about 10, 10 hours long. It's going to be... Um, with me at, at like maybe two or three, but it's a really cool game. So if you didn't check that bot out, please do. Um, so you think you've got talent and bad knees? Girl, that's my show. That's my show. Hi, I'm Fawn. I'm, I'm almost 30 years old and I've got, my knees are still pretty good. So I think I've got talent and good knees. All right. Bye YouTube.